May the force be with you. Don't judge me. This is Grown and Healthy, the channel where we explore self-improvement through movement. Now, I've received numerous requests to review a Zero shoe. And when I saw the Speed Force, I knew that this would be the shoe that I would pick from Zero. Now, I primarily practice sprinting and through the design and the looks of the shoe, I thought this would be the perfect fit for my activities. And also, they are one of the best looking offerings from Zero. Zero claims that the Speed Force is their lightest and most minimal shoe. Their claim is that it is lightweight, where a men's size nine is only 5.8 ounces, which is relatively light amongst barefoot shoes. They say that it is grippy. The tread pattern is their trademarked feel true rubber sole. The mesh upper, which they say is silky smooth, and gives you a real barefoot feeling, but mainly because of the shoe's DNA of being a minimalist shoe, in which it has a wide toe box, which allows your toes to spread and splay, that it is also low to the ground for balance and agility, that it is non-elevated, with a zero drop heel for proper posture. The flexible sole also allows for your feet to bend and move in the way that they're supposed to, and that the Insole allows you to choose the amount of barefoot feel that you want. It is 100% vegan friendly, no animal products, and I forgot to mention, comes with a 5,000 mile sole warranty. Now, onto my experience. I purchased the Speed Force in a size 11 and a half. That came out to a weight of 6.5 ounces and seven ounces if you include the insole of which I do not use. Now it has a sole height of 4.5 millimeters, a toe box width of 106 millimeters wide, a heel width of 75 millimeters wide, and this upper fabric comes in at about five millimeters thick. Now it also comes with the insole and that's about 3.75 millimeters. Now onto the design of the shoe. Zero took many attributes of their sandals and put them into a running shoe. Now I purchased these in the black and white offset colorway and I was pleased when I received them. The standout style features were the split pattern at the toe and also what I would term the scaffolding, which is this band that runs through the loops and around the heel that give you the strap design of a sandal while also the upper material above of a shoe. Now, what I liked about the shoe was the attention to detail in terms of the attachment points of the straps. It's at many of the weak points on conventional shoes. These anchor points create greater stability and allow for more agility during movement. It is lightweight. I mean, these shoes are very flexible while also being very supportive, making leg lift in your stride feel lightweight and low of fatigue. Now, there are a few things I didn't like. What perplexed me was first the sole pattern. I didn't see the need for such high indentation on the outer sole. Not to mention the forward and reverse pattern design on the outer sole, insinuating a dependence of a heel to toe gait cycle, which you know I'm not a fan of. The inner sole also included in the shoe caused initial cramping because it was so thick. This came out to about four millimeters thick, a little less, 
And because of that, it created a shallow depth and a cramped environment for my toes. But that was immediately remedied once I took the inner sole out. Now, who is this shoe for? This is a great option for the minimal shoe athlete. Taking a lightweight package and bolstering it with a web of stability that allows for a secure and effortless front. While packaged as a running shoe, the tread pattern is more indicative of a trail running shoe and not as much a track or road shoe. The thickness is fine, but the tread pattern led me to believe that it was more of a trail running shoe. I mean, the indentation of the tread pattern in the Speed Force is a higher raise than even the Vapor Glove 4, which primarily is a trail running shoe. Now, I assume they did this because they wanted to kind of broaden the appeal. In my opinion, I feel a more narrow focus would have created a shoe that would be unrivaled and that would dominate the running market. Notwithstanding, this is an excellent shoe. And at the price of $99 at the time of this video's release, I find it to be a fair value. And if you're looking for a shoe that is outside the norm, I would definitely pick the Speed Force by Zero. This is Grown and Healthy, the channel where we explore self-improvement through movement. Thanks for watching.